Did someone say fairy core? Hello and welcome to Fuel to My Lo-Fi, a safe space on the internet where we explore curious and strange spaces such as the back rooms, liminal spaces, the pool rooms, and more. I'm your host, I, I and I welcome you to what fuels my lo-fi. Okay, so today, as you can see, I am dressed as a fairy, or at least that's the vibe I was going for. And after watching many a TikToks about fairy corn and fairies, I kind of thought I would embody them. <gasps> so, I am sorry if any of you are like, this is not fairy, this is not true to fairy. Um, let's go and actually see people who do it right. So first a little bit about fairy core. Fairy core, also known as fairy wave or fey core, is an aesthetic surrounding the theme of nature, soft pastels, butterflies, magic, flowers, soft animals like bunnies, and the vibe of springtime. The term was coined by an unknown Tumblr user. The aesthetic is popular with fairykin. Okay, so today we are diving into a collection of TikToks all focused around fairy core. Oh, I love flower fairy. I love flower fairy. That's the vibe I'm going for. I don't know if it translates well. Oh, I always, I always wanted to be spring fairy. This is what I always wanted to be, but I just don't have the body for it. Oh, this is so beautiful. Blossom fairy. It's very renaissance feminine. Oh, it's lovely. Ooh, Pearl Fairy actually gives me Angel Core vibes. It's very lovely, very soft. I love it. I actually think her outfit is really, really, really super cute. I love it, the way she's done her hair. The necklace, everything the bag, it's so so cute. I love it, I love it. Wow, she looks like she just stepped right out of one of those old fairy tale books. She's like using a paintbrush to paint on. So, you know, I'm so curious. I've been trying to do freckles better. And, ah, oh, that's interesting. I think I'll try that. But I don't know what she uses as the paint. Like, is she actually using paint paint? Or some kind of pigment? So many questions. Ah. Oh. Wow, I love that. That makeup look is so pretty. How to dress fairy grunge. You'll need a distressed knit sweater. Over that, a corset or tight tank. Along oh yeah, okay. So I didn't realize this actually within fairy core, like fairy grunge. So I included this as well because I was like, ooh. Could I maybe go, could I pass this fairy grunge with all the black in my closet? <laughs> Long tattered skirt, yes, the boys too. Tights and chunky Mary Janes, DIY dangle earrings, best if they're forest themed, and of course, a pair of fairy wings. Duet to show us your take on fairy grunge. How to dress fairy. I love it. I want fairy wings. I think it kind of reminds me of um. Ah, uh, there's this uh, old movie. What is it called? Frangali. It reminds me of Frangali a little bit. It was really cool. It's like all these fae that live in trees and they dress like this. <laughs> Make a fairy house with me. Mm. 
makes some mad. <laughs> Oh, that has got to be so therapeutic to just put your hand in mud and cool soil and just squish it, squish it. In a tree. Now cover some sticks with mud to make pillars. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's what makes it strong because there's a stick inside. Okay. Dig for firm mud, then roll into little balls. Okay. Mud balls. Oh. Gather Mud balls. Mud walls. Then decorate. Wow. Shiny to attract the I'm surprised that they could like build such a beautiful um, house, mud house, mud house, in such a short period of time. That's so cool, and that's really really fast. Nice. Make a fairy house with me. Wow, what a beautiful place. Oh, where I live, there is nothing like this. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Okay, so she used her mascara and she just sort of like flicked it onto her face. I have to try that next time. I'm going to try that tomorrow. <laughs> wow, look at that. She reminds me of Princess Tiana from The Prop Prince. So pretty. Uh, she is definitely, um, I would say, either fairy core or cottage core. Um, this is uh, emo or witchcraft, I guess. And then this is Angel Core. Psychic. I'm sorry, but look what I posted in a genius. Yes, fairy, yes, it looks Wow. They just keep putting out um photography that just looks like it just came right out of a, a painting or a fairy tale novel. Like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So good. I did that. The inspo of course. You ever just wanna be this aesthetic? Ah, oh yeah, I do. I forgot that. This aesthetic. Oh, she so is. She so is. She's just basically a fae. A fae who wants to be a pestle anyway. Go, oh, <laughs> so cute. Ah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Um, when I was growing up, I used to love to collect pictures of fairies. I was very, 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 very inspired by them. And I love these kind of illustrations. These glowing goddesses in the middle of nowhere. I think I even tried to paint something like this. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely darling. Beautiful. How to not just absolutely love paintings and illustrations like that. They're whimsical, they're fantasy. There's so much drama and so much energy in all of this. And, you know, that's what I think draws people to this aesthetic because they want to be a part of this. They want to bring this into a reality. Oh my gosh, those cakes are so cute. Those cakes are so cute. Oh my god. They have flowers on them. Flowers. Oh. 
all right um and so on that note <laughs> thank you so much for watching i really love fairy core i think it's a comfortable sweet aesthetic much like goblin core it has its own vibe and there's a huge emphasis on being cozy and being warm and just being at peace and one with nature and i love that i love that in an aesthetic anything that reminds us of like where we come from and what's really important is so precious and it helps to ground and soothe the savage soul so i really like this aesthetic and i like like the things that it brings and it represents um another plus point is like it's not something that you have to pour in a lot of money to as you can see some people thrift shop it some people just hand make it and i kind of feel like it's making me re rethink my concept of colors, especially with being a dark skinned person, you know. I just gravitate towards pastels because I feel like, yay, at least if I'm wearing pink, you can see me, you know. But now I'm like, hmm, maybe it might not be so bad if I wear some olives and some, some browns. Hmm. And so, yeah, with that, I thank you so much for being here, as always. If you enjoyed this video, do remember to press that, uh, what was it? Press that like button. And that's to let me know that you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want more videos. And turn on the bell notification so that you're notified when my new videos come out. Okay. Uh, as always, may your days be magical. And I will see you in the next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.